Well, let's see how this circuit works. We have a VN, let's say VN is something looks like that. We have um, RS and a V out. Here we have a, a DC voltage in for a um, DC, well, we'll use it to replace that source that we had in the last circuit because the uh, sources uh, using batteries in a circuit are not practical and use a voltage divider instead or a regulator. So the voltage at this point here is the DC in times R2 over R1 plus R2, it's a typical voltage divider, and plus 0.7 volts. Uh, let's see. We'll call this bias in plus 0.7 volts. So the voltage at this point is bias in plus 0.7 volts. Um, let's have a look at how this circuit might work. If Vn here is this waveform here, then when this voltage gets higher then this 0.7 volts plus whatever this bias is here, then we're going to forward bias a diode. And when it gets into this reverse region, we are going to, all the current will go across our load. And that's RL. And the voltage here increases more positive than this. And when it reaches this bias point, that forward biases, we have current flow here. And RL will only see this amount of current. So that can be kind of nice, especially if this, for some odd reason, this increases like this, or we don't want it to. Um, if this circuit, whatever this RL is, can't handle this kind of voltage here, then this circuit will regulate it and keep it from going any higher than um, bias plus 0.7 volts. Goes up to bias plus 0.7, holds it steady, and then back down. And if you didn't want this part of it here, all we have to do is to put a, another diode in right there. And we won't get any of this here either. All we get is this part of it. Um, <clears throat> if the input waveform is like, sorry, is like this, then you will get a waveform looks like this. This bias plus 0.7 volts. Very interesting circuit. They noted in the book if Vn is irregular, the voltage output shapes it to a smoother DC. Um, so we can actually regulate the amount of voltage using a circuit similar to this. 